Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today we are officially kicking off our mini-series of the lit up world of World of Warcraft. And what I mean by that is, well, we are in a very familiar place. You guys might remember me doing a video a while back on the Eternal Palace raid in Nashatar. We are back in the Eternal Palace, in the Queen's Palace here. And uh, we're going to be re-exploring, but we're going to be doing it in a different way. Now, this is going to be a lot of fun because I did not know there is a certain potion in the game, and I probably should have known this since the beginning, but... I gotta give all the credit to Hero. He's been awesome. Uh, he sent me like a bunch of these potions and basically what happens with these potions are called the Stinky Bright Potion. When you drink them, they light the world around you. And I'm gonna be showing you right now what I mean. Now, this is going to give us a whole new perspective on this raid and I am super excited because it's basically going to light up everything. Like right now, we are in darkness obviously because we're technically under the water millions of miles of under the water right under the eternal palace in the middle of the ocean nowhere but if we drink this potion that is all going to change now check this out when i do that how awesome is that we are now officially in light it's like we're in like an editor mode in world of warcraft guys i am super excited to do this video today i can't wait to go take a look around now obviously we don't have to go everywhere because i have already filmed a video here and i don't want you guys to think that i'm <clears throat> trying to come across as lazy and refilm somewhere i've already been but i wanted to see this place what it would look like just in a whole different perspective and as you can see it is a lot different now so far we're already messing up and dropping <laughs> So we got to be Ah, well that kind of sucks. Anyways, we can go back this way, but I don't want to go explore everywhere. I just want to go see some main key parts of what the map might look like in the daytime because again, I've never been out here with the daytime. Nobody has. Normally the dungeon is completely black, so and you can't see anything. So look at this, guys. I mean, look at there's a skybox in here. How awesome is that? Oh, we're swimming. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot. <clears throat> this is a swimming area, so we're good. Um, now what's really neat is, and we're back. <laughs> All right. I don't know what just happened, guys, but it looks like my game crashed. Um, I think that recording and doing this raid at the same time is really heavy on the CPU and a lot of my memory here. So, um, I gotta be careful where I'm going. Uh, the stream, or not the stream, but the recording seems to be fine in OBS, so I don't know what's crashing it, but look at this. I mean, isn't this incredible? Hero, thank you so much for giving these potions, dude. This just puts a whole new perspective on everything. How would you ever see this like during the day? Why is this not a regular thing? Now we got to go check out the uh, the chamber down below where you fight the last boss, the you know, the queen and all that. Um, guys, this just puts a whole new perspective on the game. Like this is absolutely insane. Thank you again, hero. This is awesome. Now we do need to get around here. Um, as I do want to get up the cliff. How are we doing on fell rushes? None. Okay. So we might be here a minute. Sorry, guys. I uh, didn't mean to even take this way. I wanted to go the other way around, but I forgot that. Um... Oh, there we go. We can just jump up. Look at this. How awesome is this perspective of everything? Why is Blizzard not implemented like a day and night mode? in these you know like in these raids and stuff like i know that this raid is supposed to be seen at night but look at this it just puts a whole new perspective on the raid like how awesome is that look at that now it's like we're outside like that is so cool like we need to go take a look around here and see what's going on 
like that was where um the old god is chained right i mean that's just incredible <clears throat> let's go take a look oh my gosh guys this just puts a whole nother perspective look at that there's like a dark void bubble out there check that out this is just things that you never get to see man this is awesome so like i said i'm not gonna explore everywhere again because obviously i want to see um just some of the raid itself lit up i've already made a video out here you guys can watch the original if you like but i just wanted to start a mini series of like seeing things from a new perspective in world of warcraft like this is so cool you know i'm definitely going to be using these potions in a lot more places i got a few other places already in mind that i want to use them uh, places that are normally dark and you can't see outside but isn't this awesome you know actually what's funny is the nashatar the eternal palace raid i think normally was going to actually be outside if i'm not mistaken and then they ended up uh scrapping that content and putting it in the water underneath but this could have what it could have been like like you're seeing wow from a whole new perspective here like look at this look at the chains oh that's so cool there's the final boss room this is honestly this is one of my all-time favorite oobs i've ever done i mean this is just so cool so so cool this just gives you a whole new perspective on the chains that holding us off i mean just it's just amazing look at that ah i get goosebumps <laughs> look at the chains how cool is that now, unfortunately, if you go down there, you're just going to DC. There is no Nazoth. Um, you know, obviously he's in the cutscene when Queen Ajar lets him go. Spoilers for anybody who haven't played the dungeon or raid. Uh, but it's just amazing, like, to see this. I mean, how cool is that? So I want to get a zoomed in shot here and I want to take a screenshot because that is so awesome. Yeah, guys, I mean, let's go check out some of these pillars that uh, is out that this is so cool. We're in daytime of the Eternal Palace raid. Like, this is awesome. Making history here. And like I said, this is just going to be a mini series, so this is not going to be a very long video. I don't want to be here for another 30 minutes, <laughs> you know, because I already have made a video on this place. So I don't want to give you guys content you've already seen, but just a whole new light. I mean, look at that. Wow, that really puts a perspective on things. Oh, where'd the chain go? It disappeared. Oh, there we go. Okay. Look at that. How awesome is that? These are some cool screenshots. Now let's mount up and let's go right around for a minute. I want to give you guys the sheer death of this raid. I mean, this place is massive and you can see the smoke and mirrors that blizzard does on this place it's just in absolutely insane it just goes on for miles now i don't have my graphic settings maxed out i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have an older not an older graphics card but it is an older rtx card i have a 2070 super in my machine so it's not you know super powerful it's still an rtx card i mean not gonna lie it, it's done wonders in the future i am going to be upgrading my computer um i don't know when <laughs> if i can convince my wife to let me <laughs> still on that mission but uh i'm hoping to upgrade the computer in the next year or so because you know the machines don't last forever and it would be nice to get a nicer newer rig i'm hoping not to drop a fortune on the newer one but we'll see um We'll see. I want to uh, upgrade to something and then I won't upgrade again for probably at least another five or six years out after I get my other one because, you know, it's going to last me a while. But anyways, off the topic of buying another computer, check out this. I mean, you know, it's incredible to me that you can get a whole new perspective here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to max out my graphic settings real quick because I want to show you guys the detail of this place. It may or not crash my game. I don't know. We're going to find out. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, it didn't change anything. So let's go back to the base game. Let's turn this all the way up. And I want to go back down here because I want to show you guys exactly what this place looks like. With everything maxed out. Now, I'm hoping that we can get a new perspective here. Now, what's really strange is there's like these little fires down here below. I want to see if the chains will pop back in. I hope we didn't go too far out. But the chain should load in here any minute. But you guys can just see, like, the scale and the depth of this place is massive. Like, the map goes all the way back there. Like, and it just keeps going and going and going. Like, no joke. Uh, well, I thought turning up my graph settings would, uh, show us a little more detail. But maybe I went too far out for the chains to be seen. But how awesome is this? Just seeing everything. Well, that didn't really change anything, did it? <laughs> I thought that maybe changing things would help, but uh, I don't see a difference here. So we're going to go back to... Um, we're going to go back to 5 here. I don't want to kill my computer. Okay, that did change something. So there was more details and all that that popped in. You can't see as far anymore. Um, which is kind of sad. I wanted to see everything in detail. But you know what's kind of interesting is if you look at this... It looks like a statue right here. There's like a leg and like a body shaped out. That's kind of creepy looking. But as you can tell, this map is just massive. I mean, it goes all the way down to here. Like, that is a huge drop down. Um, <clears throat> I do want to turn this back up a little bit, though, because I want to see exactly how far we're going. Because we're in a raid, I thought that the graph settings actually make a difference, don't they? Or is it just the base game? Okay, there we go. Now we can see a little more. Uh, my game might crash here, but it's definitely worth it. I want to see kind of how far this goes. Look at that. So this will give you guys a different perspective on this raid and kind of what you're looking at at the very end. Um, obviously, you can see Nazoth isn't here. There's like these giant black orb bubbles that cover the ground over here, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe that is like the smoke effect and it's supposed to mirror exactly what you're seeing or cover up what you're seeing. I should see now if we actually head out this way, we can kind of get a better perspective, like how far this map goes back. Like it's huge. And I love the, the texture details of the, uh, the Titan chain poles here that they put up, man. I wish the chains came back into view. I think you have to be in a certain spot for them to pop up. So I think we have to be back up there, but uh, man, you guys should really come down here and check this out. Now we've already hit the 10 minute mark um, of the, the dungeon or the raid. Sorry, I keep saying dungeon. Uh, so I want to go over here real quick. And I just want to give you guys a scale on how far this actually goes back. And as you can see, I'm kind of walking on nothing right now, um, but this goes all the way back this way. Check this out. I mean, it's just absolutely massive. You guys can tell, like, how much smoke and mirrors Blizzard put in this place. It's just insane. I mean, it goes all the way back this way, too. So we kind of found the edge of the world back here. And there's actually, if I remember correctly, there's like a whole nother uh, section of the map way back here that you can go. Because we actually watched, I think it was Hero went back there when we watched him get out um <clears throat> but it's just so cool like look at that it's just awesome i you know i think blizzard did a great job with this raid i think that this raid is just a lot of fun now we're about to go off the map look at we're actually we're hitting the edge of the world I, oh crap i think we got stuck oh we can teleport okay we're good all right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Go check out the Eternal Palace raid with the Blight. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.